In the following few videos, you will learn how to use Firebase Remote Config to remotely configure or update some of uh, configuration values in your mobile application. And right now, I'm in the Grow Remote Config section of my mobile application project in Firebase. And as it is said here, Remote Config allows you to customize and experiment with app behavior using server-side configuration parameters. So what can you do with this, for example? Using Firebase Remote Config, you can remotely enable or disable a button, for example, in your mobile application. Or you can change a button color to a different one and see to which button color users of your mobile application respond more. You can remotely turn off and on a specific feature or you can change a promo image in your mobile app and see if the new image makes users convert better. So being able to remotely configure your mobile application is a great feature and it gives you as a mobile app developer or maybe as an app owner great powers. You can change button titles, labels, text, colors or images. You can enable or disable different features and you can even remotely change behavior of your mobile application. But if you do not use remote config, each of these changes will require you to release a new version of mobile application to the App Store and then wait until users will download an updated version of your mobile app and this might take months because many users might not simply notice that there is an update or notice and choose not to update at all. And all of this makes remote config almost a must to use feature in app development. So in the following few videos, you will learn how to do it, how to use Firebase remote configuration to remotely configure your mobile app. And I'll show you how to set up your project to support Firebase remote configuration, how to set configuration default values, and also how to fetch and activate remote configuration values so that your mobile app can start using it. And as an example, I'll show you how to remotely enable and disable button in your mobile application. And by learning how to do this, you can then create lots of different, different configurations and make your mobile application be remotely configurable. So let's begin with it. 